Hello, everyone. Let's start by defining this widely known word technology. So I googled up the definition out of curiosity, but it was too difficult for me to remember. So I came up with this interesting definition. Technology enables us to do things that we naturally cannot do. For example, we humans have this natural inability to fly, like birds. Technology in this case, the invention of airplanes, uh, jetpacks these days, enable us to fly. Similarly, some of us have to also um, bear this inability, and that's the inability to see, we also known as blindness. Um, just putting some numbers out there, there are more than 40 million people in the world who are blind, and every five seconds, another person in the world goes blind. That's every five seconds. Imagine if we were actually blind. Now let's try a little experiment. How does it feel like to be blind? Think about how a typical day like is for you, in a flash. From the start of your morning, buzzing around all day, and going to bed at night. Now think about the first three things you did this morning when you got up. What do you do? Well, for me, I brush my teeth, I check my emails on my computer, and I made myself a sandwich. Now, when you're ready, I'd like you to take a pen and cross out the things you can't do if you couldn't see. How many will you have left on that list? For me, well, I can probably brush my teeth with my eyes closed, but I wouldn't be able to read any emails unless I have a screen reader software. And handling knives and a chopping board in the kitchen is gonna end up in a bloody mess. Now that leaves me with just one out of three in my list. Imagine living your life in darkness. All the things that you took for granted this morning itself. It's gone. How does that make you feel? It makes me really terrified. Blind people, they're no different than you and I. They want to learn, they want to make a living, they want to raise a family. They even use mobile phones to stay in touch. The only difference is they can't see. A year ago, we met a guy called Neil Jarvis, a member from the Royal New Zealand Foundation of the Blind. He came to our university to give us a guest lecture about how technology transformed his life as a blind person. Now, the talk was really interesting, but what was more interesting was how did he get to the lecture theater? So he got to the entrance of AUT on time. There was no problem there. Then, it was difficult for him to find his way around the campus. Why? Well, he couldn't use his GPS, and he couldn't see the maps and signs around. In the end, we had to send a student down to where he was and let, lead him up. So can technology help us in this case? How can we help blind people better discover the world around them? Now, what do we all have in our pockets right now? This amazing piece of technology, your mobile phones. Some of us are even using it all the time. Now, can we give blind people the ability to see through the lenses of their own phone. Imagine if Neil could arrive at AUT, take a picture of what's around him, and hear his phone describe it to him, what was near, where he was, and how to get to the lecture theater. 
Imagine that. And that was exactly what we thought. And this is what we've created. This is Mobile Eye. Let me show you how it works. Here are two cans from the pantry. You take a picture, send it to our server, and receive an answer. So with these two cans, say you're hungry. <laughs> Which would you choose? Easy for us to say, hard for a blind person. So what if you can take a picture? Swipe left for helper. Picture taken, sending image, waiting for response. Take a picture. Cat food on your left and creamy tomato soup on your right. Cat food on your left and creamy tomato soup on your right. Helper. So this is exactly the richness in information and possibilities that our solution brings. Mobile Eye. And this is us giving blind people smart eyes through their mobile phones. And it can not only work with a couple of cans from your pantry. Say you're going to a supermarket. How do you know if the amount on your receipt is accurately charged? Take a picture and get an answer. Or you're at home taking two socks out of the washer. How do you know if they are a matching pair? You take a picture and get an answer. Or you're at home at night and you're not sure if the lights are still on. What do you do? Take a picture and get an answer. Smart eyes with smartphones for blind people. Right, looks really smart. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a picture of our first user, Mara, using a mobile eye on her commodity phone. So we answered this first question that we raised, can technology help bring back the richness of visual information to blind people? And the answer is yes, we can. Uh, but then another question arises, what we mean by visual information? So we went and asked blind people, and we said, what sort of visual information are you interested in? What, what do you really need? And they came up with a few answers, and this, these were the common themes out of that. So first one we see is the color recognition. Uh, they want to know the color, um, color of the clothes they are going, when they are going for shopping. Uh, it was really difficult when Neil took two socks out, they felt exactly the same, but he doesn't know if they are the same color or not. So those kind of genuine problems uh, we're, they were facing. And we said, oh yeah, um, get an image, put that in the HSV color space, do some distance calculation on the pixels, and we can come up with, a, uh, with an answer. So that we sorted out pretty quickly. The second one was the character recognition. So when you go in a cafe, you want to read the menu. Uh, there's printed text. Um, also, as Jade said, uh, when you pay using FPOS and you want to know if the amount uh, charged on your receipt is accurate, because there is apparently the FPOS system is not very accessible to blind people. This was obvious one, using optical character recognition. We can fix that, and we did. But then there is the third one, which is an interesting one. We never thought uh, this was a problem. But they want to know the brightness levels. Um, is it dark outside? Or are my, are, are my lights still on before I go to bed? And we said, OK, that's very, very easy. So we solved that, and we added those modules uh, into our system. Now, the interesting thing about these modules are that we can use mathematical formulas or artificial intelligence to answer these, these type of questions. And so we call it an AI buddy. It's a set of artificial intelligent algorithms, very simple ones, which come on your phone or somewhere on the computer device, and it answers your questions. But then there is a fourth type of information, which is much more complex. And that is when you want to know, what is in front of me? 
or how do I get out of this building? Where is the exit? So I can spot that, but a blind person wouldn't be able to, right? Uh, so these kind of contextual information is very hard for AI at the moment. So we said, can we use something more powerful than that? And what is more powerful than artificial intelligence? So the answer was real intelligence, humans. So we said, can we make technology communic enable the communication between a person who can see, who is willing to help the blind person, and the blind person who is taking the picture? And that's exactly what we created. So with this power of social networking sites we have today, it's very easy to find people within your trusted network. So your family members, your friends, um, and if they are available, we can efficiently route the images to them who can give you context-specific answers. Let us show you a live demonstration of how this buddy system works. So here, I've got mobile eye application here. I'll just start it again so that you see all the modules that are available. Swipe left for color recognition. Swipe up for darkness detection. Swipe right for helper. Swipe down for text reader. And I choose helper. Helper. By swiping right. I take a photo now here. Jade is the person who is willing to help me. And she's on her tablet device. She can be on her mobile, on her computer, etc. I take the Picture photo. Picture taken. Sending image. Waiting for response. And almost immediately, Jade gets the image right there. She types the answer. A glass of water on a white table. A glass of water on a white table. And we get the answer. Helper. So we created this piece of technology, but we just didn't create it for the sake of it. So we actually were working closely with the blind people from the Royal New Zealand Foundation of the Blind and asked them what are their needs. And out of um, their needs, we planned the development. So it was the guiding path. Their needs dro drove uh, what we developed, really. Um, so while working on this project, we also received great support uh, by taking part into uh, Microsoft Imagine Cup competition. We won the New Zealand final, so we went to Sydney to compete at the worldwide levels, and we learned lots. Um, there were great people uh, to give us guidance to how we can further develop this application. Um, also, AUT University and my colleagues at Orion Health have been of great support. So with all these people, all these minds combined, we are able to come up with these great ideas and uh, drive mobile eye further. This is an interesting one. So this is how mobile eye is working at the moment, where we need human buddies, because AI is not clever enough to answer context-specific questions. Now, when you register as a helper and answer your blind friend's answers, what we can do is, from those answers, we can train your blind friend's AI buddies. And so, as time grows, in 2020, hopefully, your AI buddy becomes so powerful and intelligent that it can answer most of the context-specific questions, so you don't have to. And that's exactly what we are trying to create. Um, also, what happens is, with all this technology growing, the computational devices becoming smaller and more powerful, we'll have glasses and things like those, those gadgets where you will have accelerometers, um, cameras, network connectivity, which is fast. And so you'll be able to port all this technology into these smaller devices. So this is what an AI buddy would look like and would think of this scene um, in 2020, hopefully. But what will also be cool is, say, my AI buddy is trained on certain scenarios. So when I go to Orion Cafe, uh, it knows about that environment. When Jade comes, into my working area, I can tell my AI buddy, hey, can you share your knowledge with her AI buddy? And then since then, her buddy knows about it. So then we can share around information how we do as humans, all these AI buddies can share the information, and it'll be a, a, a big repository of data, which will be kind of cool. <laughs> so we started up as a couple of students with a small idea and we've come through so far with a real product and a simple vision of giving sight to blind people. Today, 
We are all very blessed here to be able to share these wonderful ideas with Fish Driver and get to experience and learn more about what's going on out there. Now let's bring it back to ourselves. How many of us in here know someone who is blind or may go blind? You know how it feels like. This can end the isolation that they feel, and this can definitely make a positive impact in our lives. So all we need to have this going is for you to sign up as a buddy. Be the agent of action, like what we heard in a previous talk. You are the agent of action. Sign up with your smartphones right now and help us help a blind person better discover the world around them. Thank you.